With the ethos of sky is not the limit, India's premier space agency, Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, is gearing up for the country's made-in-space human flight mission, Gaganyaan. Recently sharing the details about the landmark endeavour, Union Minister of State Jitendra Singh said the first trial of the human space mission will be done by the end of 2023 or at the beginning of 2024. What is worth mentioning here is that the minister informed about Vyomitra, a half-humanoid being developed by the ISRO, which will eventually fly to space after the first successful flight. It aims to lay the ground for ISRO's manned mission. The first test flight will be followed by sending a female-looking humanoid robot, Vyomitra. Next year, one or two human beings of Indian origin will reach to space. The preparation of our Gaganyaan have been done. Before that, two trials will be conducted by the end of this year. First trial will be empty and the second trial will be having a female robot that will be the astronaut named Vyomitra. Minister Jitendra Singh added. Result of a long toil of the ISRO's inertial system unit in Trivendrampuram, Vermitra has been developed by as a prototype for a half-humanoid that will eventually fly to space on an unmanned mission known as Gaganyaan. A humanoid is basically a robot with the appearance of a human being. ISRO's Vermitra is called a half-humanoid since she has a head, two hands and a torso and does not have a lower limbs. Coming to the functioning of Vermitra, she can switch panel operations, ECLSS, that is Environment Control and Life Support Systems, and functions related to that. And she can be a companion and converse with the astronauts by recognizing them and also responding to their queries. Further, geosynchronized satellite launch vehicle, GSLV MK3, has been identified as the launch of a Gaganyaan mission, given its successful launch pedigree so far, including the Chandayaan mission. The aim of the Gaganyaan mission is to demonstrate the capacity of sending humans to lower Earth orbit, that is ELO, in the short term, which will lay the foundation for the sustained Indian human space exploration program in the long run. This is it in today's session. Thanks for watching.